Okay, perfect. Hi, everybody. So today I wanted to do a question about capacitor. In the tutorial, we saw only this kind of shape capacitor, right? We saw this thing, two plates talking to each other, right? And, but in general, it could be many capacitors. It can be, this is a plate, plate capacitor, but also it can be a cylinder, cylinder, which I'm gonna do today, so also can be a spherical. And it can be whatever it's like. If you have two conductors, two conductors that can talk to each other, you actually have a capacitor in general. So today I wanna to show you a really special capacitor, uh, which actually we have in cars, okay? So this is, uh, where is the razor? Let's use that. So in car, you know that we have oil, right? Because oil stops friction and can help us a lot. Let me clean that. And can help us a lot in protecting the equipment inside the car, right? To reduce friction. So, but we don't know when the oil is actually gone away from the system, right? We need some way to understand it. And if something is not right with the camera, let me know. Okay, you can. Uh, and start talking, you have the ability, right? Perfect, and during the Zoom. So the question is actually exactly about that. So I have, I have this, kind of, this kind of capacitor, look. It's like a cylinder, a big cylinder. And here in my car, I have some oil to that amount. That's the amount of the oil that I have. Okay, this oil, let's do L, and let's do oil. Okay, here's the oil, right? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a capacitor out of this cylinder shell. I'm gonna take this part, this part, this conductor, and connect it to a battery. And the other one, I'm gonna connect to some road. Here it's another cylinder, it's a road that I plug inside, inside, here it is, inside this cylinder, hollow cylinder, right? And now I can tell that this is, for example, let's do, this is the tank that I have in the car, right? This is the tank. So I know that my device is actually at length L, which I produce it, but the oil in my system actually going only to this one. Until now, everything is clear. You understand what you see in the system? Yeah. Perfect. So this is voltage here. So I want to ask you what's actually going to happen? Why this is a capacitor? What's going to happen? So if you have here negative, this negative part of the battery, what this thing going to do? It's going to make electrons, right? Electron is not working. It's going to make electrons come and enjoy this conductor, right? A lot of electrons come in here, having fun, right? And then, what's the electron here say? Yeah, I don't like you. I don't like your vibes. I don't like the same charge. So they're going to leave this place and going to leave behind what? A positive charge, right? All over the cylinder, it's happening, happening the same thing. This is connecting, it's connected to that point. Okay, you see it? So this is a capacitor, just in the shape of what? A, a cylinder. Cylinder, great, you got it. Okay, so you have, you develop in class the formula, okay, of what is the capacitance, what is the capacitance of what? Of a cylinder. So do you remember what it is? It's two pi epsilon, which is gonna be the emphasize, the star of today, divided by lan, right. lan. And here I'm not sure if it's all out or R in, I think it's all out, divided by L in. Somebody have the lecture notes? You can tell me because here I think I have a, a mistake in my notes. And you can easily show this with Gauss, okay? You can put a Gauss envelope inside here. 
understand what is the electric field, what is Q, what is the voltage. Remember, Q equal CV, right? Using Gauss, Gauss's law, and V you know, and you can find find what is C for a cylinder geometry. This is the answer. Okay, perfect. And this is this is actually the first radius all in, and this is all out. Okay. Maybe I have a mistake here. Maybe it's the opposite way, but it's not going to be relevant to the uh, exercise. Okay, perfect. So what I want you to see is is the this epsilon. What is the role of epsilon? Epsilon is actually telling us what is the material that fighting this electric field. I have here some electric field, right? Electric field is pointing towards the electron, right? That's what I have here. You see it? So yeah. in which material do I find? It? If it, this was oil, let's say it was oil, only capacitor inside oil. So this value, epsilon, should be epsilon of the vacuum, okay? Multiplied by epsilon of oil, okay? And this one is called epsilon R, which means relative epsilon, or sometimes it's called kappa, okay? A nice K, okay, with the style. So for oil, I know this one is equal to five, okay? If this was a capacitor and the inside was only L, so I can say for gases, for gases, epsilon actually equal to epsilon node, this one, multiplied by one, zero, 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 three, I think, something like that, okay? That's what happened in gas usually, especially in L. So most of the time, it's going to be just epsilon naught. And that's what you saw in many of the previous questions. Okay? So this is the idea of this epsilon. But look what we have in our system. In our system, we actually have two different materials. You see it? On top, what we have? What we have on top? Just like the air. Just the air, exactly. And down below, we have the oil, right? Oil. Yes, exactly. So let's understand what kind of a capacitor we actually have here because if we have two different materials we actually have two different capacitors so i would try to draw this as a circuit let's try to do it so this is the battery agree and then the battery what is connected to capacitor this out shell you see it this outer shell so i'm going to draw a capacitor and what material do i have here it's air. So let's do L, right? And down below, if I continue this conductor, I have this one, which is with the oil. Oil with the oil, right? With the oil. Let's do it like, like oil, like messy. Okay. And what's connected to the negative? I have this road, right? At the beginning, you connect to the air. And this conductor then connects to the oil. So actually, my system. Is building is built of two. Ah, I forget here to write left. This is L, the length of the capacitor. And so my system actually built of two capacitors, which connect in what in a which way? Series or parallel? This is parallel, right? It's parallel, exactly. Because why? They share the same voltage. This part hold the amount of voltage with this part, and the lower part actually hold the same amount here. Okay, perfect. So let me clean the board. So what is actually my capacitor? So how, how, we, how we have an equivalent capacitor in this system? Is C equal to what? Two? C1 plus C2. Yes, in our case, it's CL. CL plus C oil. C oil, exactly. So that's what we have here. So let's calculate this using the formula. Okay, so let's leave the formula here and let's go to the other board. You with me? Other board is the other side. Here it is. Here. So, so our capacitor is actually C. C total equivalent one equal to what? To C L. What is C L? It's two. 
pi. What is the length of the air? You can see in the drawing as we get back to the original drawing. Length minus the height of the liquid thing, right? So length right. the oh, length okay. of the whole cylinder minus the height to which the, the liquid is there. So exactly, that's good. So let me understand if you got it as I did it. So I have two pi here. Then I need to put epsilon of what? Of air, which I can say just epsilon naught, okay? Because epsilon relative and air is equal to one. And then the length, the length of the air is actually L, all the system that I have, minus the OH. And then down below, I have this lan L out, L in, right? But this is not enough. I have another term, which is the oil. So what the oil that I have two pi, but now I need a correction. It's five epsilon there because it's oil. It's different material, right? So remember that the capacitor, the capacitance is actually a phenomenon that take into account geometry and material. So this is a material inside a capacitor. Okay. So and what is that? What is the height of the oil only? It's H. H. And here I have the same thing. Lan L out R in. And I need to sum them up. So 2 pi epsilon 0. It's L minus H plus 5 H. So this one is actually end up to be 4 H. So we have L minus A plus 4 H. 2 pi epsilon 0 divided by lam r out divided by r in. And this one, this is C delta, right? If I want to know how much charge do I have on this capacitor, what should I do? Which equation can help me? Q is equal to CV. Q equals CV. Or you just take this part and multiply by the battery, the voltage. And then I can follow out my charge. You see it? If suddenly, suddenly, C is going down, okay? Something happens. C is going down really fast. What I can understand, what's happened to the system? The oil taking out of the system, you see it? And changing, here, the changing this part, right? Yeah. See so yeah, H is changing. So what's going to happen to my charge? It also I know now why, because, because I'm holding the battery. And in the car, I think you have 12 volts battery, right? So actually in this state, so I can put the device, measure the charge. And see that hey, the charge is going down. Something going on with the H. So this is the concept. This is the idea that I wanted to share with you. And then you can relate what to do with it. Okay, got it? And good. The next thing I want to show you, okay, it's I'm going to take you here, is I have, oh, yes, I have some cool demonstration here wait, 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 wait. for our next subject, which is magnetism. You see here? Let's zoom in, zoom in. Okay, perfect. So here I have, here I have this device. I have this device, which is a wire with charge, and it's inside the magnet. And when I'm gonna plug it into the uh, wall to get some electricity, you're gonna see that this wire actually got a force applied on it. Let's do it. So you see it? Yeah. Perfect. So now I take it out. It's stuck. It's just, okay. So our next subject is going to be about magnetics. And you're going to see in the lecture really cool questions. And I wanted to remember this example when you see the YouTube videos uh, that are going to come next. OK? And to the people that see this uh, after uh, capacitors, uh, you still have the resistance chapter to go to. Um, OK, guys, this was a really short session out here. I understand that this day of the week is not that 
uh, uh, that not that appropriate to you, but uh, it was one time since uh, we cannot do it this Wednesday. Uh, we, we cannot do it this Wednesday, and also I cannot proceed the lecture. So uh, that's all for today, guys. I'm gonna see you next week. Uh, if you have any question, go ahead, ask, feel free. No, it's clear. It's clear. Okay, guys, so you have another example of a cylinder, and I hope you see my note regarding the home. So good luck, guys. I'm gonna see you next time. Thank you, Ron. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.